wits. Let's go. Hello, everybody. My name is Nathan, and here today we are going to be reacting to NCTU's Without You. So you guys have been requesting me to react to this video, and I don't know much about this song, but what I do know is that um the me one of the NCT members, Tail, I think that's how you say his name, Tail. Tail, te I, I I don't know how to pronounce his um, name. I'm really bad with the I L sound in hunger, so I'm real. I'm, yeah, forgive me, all you Korean speakers out there. Um, I also heard that some of the members um, from the Chinese subunit are in here. Think um, their names are Kun and Win Win. Uh, I'm not 100 sure on the names, but um, I really want to see what this uh, this song has in store. I think this is going to be a really Really nice song because I believe this song is going to be focusing more on the vocal line rather than rather than the rap line. So without further ado, let's get started, shall we? All right, in three, two, one. Ooh. So we have we have them walking down the stairs. Many people walking down up up and down the stairs. Hello, Do Young. How are you? Man, they, only, they already debuted and I already know their faces. And I say that as one member that pops up on the screen, I don't know who it was. <laughs> uh, I take it back, I don't know everyone. Oh, I don't know who you are. So I'm assuming you're Tail. Once again, I'm sorry for butchering his name if it's wrong, but... Oh, is this the chorus part? Oh, who's the that girl? Wow, she is beautiful. This song is beautiful. I got chills right now. Whoa. Sorry I'm not talking very much, I'm, this song is really speaking to me right now. I just want to say that this is an amazing music video. Whoa, wait, these are children. I see that there's some sort of storyline happening here. There are a lot of members I don't recognize. This vocal line is amazing. Wow. Gosh. What's happening? Is that a Richter skill? Gosh. All right, so here we had NCTU's Without You, and I can say that this is one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard in my life. No, I'm serious right now, like, all kidding aside, this is a very beautiful song. I mean, like, I don't understand Korean that well, and yet 
this song does speak to me. Like, even just seeing the title without you, I can already tell that this is a very deep and poetic song. If you guys don't know from, um, if you guys uh, haven't looked up the translation for, um, for Seventh Sense, you guys can tell that's not an average K-pop song. It's not talking about an unrequited love or a forbidden love or anything like that. It's, it's different. And so is this song. I mean, yeah, this is speaking about love, but like, oh my gosh. Like, can we talk about that vocal line right now? Like, I think I rec I recognize Do Young. He's from um from the beginning, but there are a couple members who I did not recognize. I don't know if Ten was in there. I don't know if Taeyong was in there. I don't know if Mark or J or Jaehyun was in there, but all I re all I recognized was Do Young. But oh my gosh, oh. <laughs> oh. oh my god, this song, man, it. I can't I can't describe it. It's it's really really beautiful. I'll be real with you guys right now. These past couple of weeks have not been easy for me. I've been going through a lot and it's songs like this song right here is the reason why I love K-pop so much. Like people are saying, "Dude, why are you even listening to this? You don't even understand the language. Why would you even want to listen to it?" This is why because the songs are so, so beautiful and so deep. You don't need to understand the language in order to love the music. And this is why I love K-pop so much, because it breaks that language barrier and makes it straight to your kokoro right here. And I know it did for me, because, oh my gosh, I cannot contain any feels whatsoever. I didn't understand the storyline whatsoever, but I think... What I could piece out from it is that this is some sort of childhood love or something. Because I saw that clip right here. There was a little girl, and then it showed with the girl with the glasses, the one I commented who was really beautiful. Um, like, the girl was whispering to um, one of the members' ears. I don't know who it is, but probably, like, one of those life scenarios where you grow up with this one person, and you reminisce, and you realize how much, how much they mean to you. And no matter how far away you guys are from each other, nothing can take away that friendship or that love for even. I'm sorry for getting all emotional on you guys, but like... This... This music video, this... This track, this these vocals... They really say a lot. This is the definition of why K-pop means so much to me. You don't need to understand the language in order to understand the song. English and Korean are two languages, but music is one language that we all know. <laughs> all right, um, I'm sorry guys for being all emotional up in here. Like I said, this track really speaks to me and I can't emphasize that enough. I, mean, I bet if I look up the English translation, I'm gonna cry even more. So um, I'm gonna probably stay clear of that and make sure I'm not recording a reaction to it right now. Um, <laughs> What do you guys think of this music video? Uh, just leave it in the comment section down below, you guys know the drill. I love to hear you guys' feedback, and what does this song mean to you? Not just this song, what does K-pop mean to you guys? I want to interact with you guys a little bit more and ask like more deeper questions about these things, so I get to know you guys on a more um, profound level, you know? Songs like these, um, songs like these can help people connect so well. So I really want to connect with you guys, so let me know what you guys saw of this song and this music video in the comment section down below. Alright guys, that's my time. My name is Nathan. Esther, I can't even do my outro correctly. Oh my gosh. Um, that's it guys. Uh, my name is Nathan, SYJ Official. Until then, see you guys next time. Bye. Ugh. Bye. <laughs> Oh,